Once upon a time, there was a man named Hitoshi. For years, Hitoshi tried in vain to awaken the love of the woman he believed to be the love of his life. And just when the woman he loved had finally agreed to be his wife, she was diagnosed with an incurable ailment. As her life waned, in a quiet and somber moment, she whispered, Hitoshi, promise me that you'll never love another. If you do, my spirit will haunt you. He nodded, tears spilling from his eyes. I promise. Years passed and Hitoshi avoided other women, but fate continued to be ironic and he discovered a new love. Mio stepped into Hitoshi's world and a new love blossomed. When he was preparing to remarry, the ghost of his ex-beloved kept her promise and appeared to him. You are betraying me, the ghost said. For years I offered you my heart and you rejected me, replied Hitoshi. Don't you think I deserve a second chance at happiness? But the ghost of his ex-beloved was not interested in excuses and came every night to frighten him. It described in detail what had happened during the day, the words of love that he had spoken to his fiancée, the kisses and embraces they had exchanged. Hitoshi could no longer sleep, so he went to consult the Zen master Basho. It's certainly a very intelligent ghost, said Basho. It knows everything down to the last detail, and now it's ruining my relationship because I can't sleep, and during intimate moments with my fiancé, I feel somehow constrained. Don't worry, we'll get rid of the ghost, said Basho. That night, when the ghost returned, Hitoshi spoke first, before the ghost could say a word. You're such a clever ghost, I'd like to make a deal with you. Since you watch me all the time, I'm going to ask you about something I did today. If you answer correctly, I will give up my fiancé and never take another wife. If you answer wrongly, you must promise never to appear again or else be condemned by the gods to wander forever in the darkness. Agreed, replied the ghost confidently. This afternoon, when I was in the grocer's shop at one point, I picked up a handful of grain from a sack. Yes, I saw you, said the ghost. My question is the following. How many grains of wheat did I have in my hand? The ghost realized that it would never be able to answer that question, and in order to avoid being pursued by the gods into eternal darkness, it decided to disappear forever. Two days later, Hitoshi went to Basho's house. I came to thank you. Be sure to learn the lessons your experience has taught you, said Basho. First, the spirit kept coming back because you were afraid. If you want to rid yourself of a curse, simply ignore it. Second, the ghost took advantage of your feelings of guilt. Whenever we feel guilty, we always unconsciously long to be punished. And finally, no one who truly loved you would force you to make such a promise. If you want to understand love, first learn about freedom. Like Hitoshi, we too are sometimes haunted by past regrets, fears, or promises that stifle our pursuit of happiness. Dive deep into this narrative and reflect on your own battles. Realize that often, our most challenging struggles are internal. Guilt, fear, and outdated pledges. Embrace love in its purest form, unshackled and free. Challenge the phantoms of your past and journey towards a love that liberates. If Hitoshi's tale strikes a chord, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family so that others also find courage in confronting their inner specters. Remember, life's greatest journey is not in seeking new landscapes, but in having new eyes. Thank you for delving deep into this tale of love, freedom, and introspection. May love always be your compass. Until next time, take care and keep shining.